but hey y'all <clears throat> what's up it's taylor marie aka the unruly darling aka dream girl aka cop dream girl 1216 and then wish me happy birthday after but yeah i just switch up basically what i do with darling diaries and you know really tap in and um you know talk to y'all like really vent as if i would be whatever I mean. so um basically dream girl the ep the whole concept comes from like the idea of the woman that i want to be it's essentially the woman that i want to be after all the shit i've been through like because these past two years i'm sure for everybody has just been like you know crazy as fuck but it's really been crazy as fuck you know i've been going through like a lot of you know growing pains um from ages from like 17 to like 20 and yeah it's like a compilation of that basically my experiences um i learned a lot went through a lot and you know i'm here today to tell my story it's more of like the like the emotion of the it's more of like an emotional thing not necessarily emotional but it's just like you know i'm just more expressing my feelings rather than like the bad y'all should i be like spitting on my other tracks and stuff i know y'all like that and i got songs like that coming up so don't even stress but yeah so let's break it down dream girl the first thing that basically happened is you know spot full of chicks and i'm the one he pre ross came on lisa the girl of his dream he wants Taylor Marie. I get it, but <laughs> um, yes, yeah, so I met this dude. He had um, walked into the store. I used to work at. I used to work at Hooters, and I met him there. And you know, like I ended up jacking him. He ended up jacking me, and yeah, from there we just like ended up just bonding and you know creating something. But you know, I don't sweat these niggas, so it's just like whatever. It's like a regular ass nigga, anyway. So then we go to Guatemala, which is just like a concept basically for like paradise. Um, he flew me out basically to Cali like twice a couple. Anyway. <laughs> okay. He flew me out to Cali and um, basically over there, like I stayed with him for like a month out there and we was really like bonding bear fucking just bear fuckery just like a lot of shit you know that people do just uh but yeah anyway so you feel me like, uh. then come guatemala right guatemala is like a concept basically um of like paradise to me like it was actually the name of the beat and i actually was like i had a shit five but um basically the dude ended up flying me out to cali and i stayed with him for about a month Beer fuckery, drinking, smoking, just holding like mad vibes, you know? So, you know, I said, you have to put the band camera, set the phone on the ring light, and I thought I'm gonna feel bright. Yeah. It, yeah, that's all it gave, honestly. That's all it gave. Nothing much, nothing more. And, but then shit got tricky. That's when we got down to Can't Get Enough, which is like, um, okay i'm kind of like really jacking this nigga now like it's it's getting deep or whatever um so that's when i was just like um fuck yeah <laughs> like it, i really started to feel like i was like in love with this nigga but um but it felt bad though at the same time it was kind of like draining like it was like a like i'm a you're draining me type of love and i don't like that type of shit so yeah, that's where I can get enough of you comes from. Um, what, was, what was the lyric that I said from there? Um, Cause he just can't get in. No, what did I say? Cause what it, it was like, um, this is more than a fuck, fuck, fuck. Got you for a minute, talk, soft and then sweet, but some sex in the up. Then it goes down to me and Mr. Biggs, which is like a play on Carrie. Um, and Mr. Big's relationship and sex in the city, like, you know, he was a getting money ass nigga. And she was just like a fly young bitch. And that's just what happens. That's yeah, that's typically what happens. But you know, I'm Jamaican, so I just put my little flair on it. That's besides the point, anyway. But in Miss like Sex in the City, you know, Carrie and Mr. Big had a very like tumultuous relationship. Like 
problems. He always wants some shit. Just always just so stuck in his ways. That's exactly what this nigga was giving me. Like, I was, I was just like, I can't take it. But one thing about me, though, I'm going to leave a nigga exactly where he had me fucked up at. You know? I'm going to play the back and forth. I'm going to play the tennis for a little while. But afterwards, it's just like, all right, I need a piece of mind, not just grinds. You can't come into my life and waste my time because I was doing just fine without you. All right? Don't, don't ever fucking forget that in your life. Because what did I say again? I said something else, too. I was like, don't forget that I'm a hottie. I'm a hottie. I get what I want for this little piece of body. So... Try lightly. That's all I was just trying to tell a nigga. That's all I was just trying to tell a nigga. But yeah. So yeah, that's that's basically it. That was like the whole journey. Um, I completed like this cycle of just like constant back and forth. I just got all this, you know, bad energy, toxic energy, and I feel like I morphed into a new person at the end of the day as well. So I'm just excited to share that with you guys and then y'all watch me grow. So yeah.